Okay. He's not, he's yeah, not when answering you, the question. Yeah, when you, say, when you say there's no evidence for God, can you please explain to me how you know that all of the contingencies don't have their a causal relation with a personal absolute? How do you know that? How do I know that? Well, mm -hmm. once again, there's no, like, solid... Well, you once again, no, you no, no, you, listen, all you're doing is you're repeating the same claim you made. I'm asking you, how did you determine that all contingency states have their derivation or origin in an impersonal absolute? How did you determine that? It's the same answer. It's like... <laughs> See, There's me no asking you how you determined your assertion, get, repeating the assertion doesn't explain to me how you arrived at the assertion. So well, how did you it's like determine? Kind of, it's like okay. asking, like, is, where, where is a Loch Ness monster in the Loch Ness Sea, um, or Loch Ness Lake? I mean, it's... Right, stop. You, 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 you Sir, you, re you reject the notion that there is a personal okay. absolute. So by mm -hmm. default, you will be believing in an impersonal absolute that provides for mm -hmm. all dependency states, okay? Now, when I ask you, how did you determine that whatever is absolute is impersonal, you said be because we don't have an example that it's personal. Well, do you have an? And what's the problem with that? Do you have an example? What's the problem of, with that? I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to explain to you. And I'm problem. trying to give you the answer. You, you just what cut is the me off three that? times. You just cut me off three times when I tried to explain to you what the problem is. The problem is, if you're going, if if you say you don't have an example or an iteration of the personal absolute, do you have an example of what the impersonal absolute is? In, uh, in absolute. I mean, yeah, yeah. Since well, you you don't feel that you've been given revelation that the absolute is personal, how would you possibly know that the absolute is impersonal? Once again, evidences. Um, or more uh, like that, lack of them. Yeah, I I don't know what the, what what that means. So here's the question again: How did you determine that whatever is absolute is in fact impersonal? Well, I mean, there's no. <laughs> We're gonna say the same thing again. Yeah. Yeah. Make, making Andy's saying there's no evidence. The question is, again. Yeah, I'm asking you for a po your positive claim. That which is absolute is impersonal. How did you determine that? He didn't make a positive claim. No, no. Yeah, he did. He did so implicitly. Do you understand? Is your, is well, your first language like, English, Rodas? Yeah. Is let, your first let, language let, English? Let, Dude, you're asking, let, please. Please don't, don't interrupt. He did make the claim not only directly but indirectly. When you say there is there is no personal absolute, I was just answering you your question. Be, it's okay, not like yeah, Paul, please don't over talk. I'm trying to answer the other gentleman, then I'll get back to you. Jesus. When you when you reject or don't accept that the absolute of existence is personal, i.e. God, then by default you will be asserting that the absolute of existence is impersonal because there's no third alternative. Either what is absolute in existence to provide for intelligibility will either be personal or impersonal. Well, he's decided that that absolute is not personal. So when I asked him, how did he decide that it is impersonal? He says, well, he doesn't have an example or revelation of the personal absolute communicated. So I'm asking him, how did he determine that it was impersonal? Well, hold on. I'm not sure if that works because you could say, well, it has to be red or not red, and there's no third option. So, is okay, it red? Well, you're just, you've made, you've made it. Okay, okay, yeah, you're not, you're not understanding the issue. Oh, by the way, are you, are you Tom R? No. Why do you sound like Tom R? It's not Tom R. He doesn't sound like Tom R. Okay, so, okay. Hey. okay. So, so, ch so Chance, what you're, the mistake that you're making is you're making a category error. It's because when we're dealing with existence, either what is absolute is either personal or not personal. If you gave oh, me an wait, object, wait. okay, listen, if you gave me an object, that object would either possess the property of redness or not. Okay? So that which is absolute is either personal or not personal. It's A or not A. So I'm, I'm still waiting, Rodas. How did you decide that Wait, why, that why which do you is think absolute is or not personal? 
Dude, that's like the eighth or ninth time you've asked. Yeah, the exact his first same language. With the exact his first language words. is not English. He, if you're There's asking the words. same question, yeah, Flushing please. Out with an example. Yeah, yeah please, well, please, please. An good enough. Yeah, his English is good enough. He understands the question. He's been able to communicate very. So, so by all means, so ask it a twelfth time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah hold on, one second. See, that's that's another thing that kind of bugs the crap out of me about some of these atheists with these foreign languages or uh, accents, man. They always hear this excuse that, oh, English is not my uh, English. Uh, I sorry, it's not that's my a, That's first okay. Language. His English is good. But so, you know, Rodis, so Rodis, why is it that? That's incredible. Why, why is it that their how first did you language? Ver okay, how did English. you verify, Rodis, how did you verify or determine that that which is absolute is impersonal? Hmm. <laughs> well, once again, I don't want to say it too many times, but yeah, you already know the answer. Yeah, but your answer was unsatisfactory. It didn't address it the issue. Right. Your, an your, an your answer was simply an indirect way of repeating the same claim. Mm -hmm. I'm asking you to support your position. Your position is that which is absolute is impersonal. How do you know it's impersonal? Well, once the again. fact that you're un the fact that you're unpersuaded that the absolute is personal, it doesn't follow from your unpersuasion that it is therefore impersonal. 